it's actually looking quite nice out there today. Now, the weather forecast for uh, today's weather is scattered showers, but really heavy downpours. So it's going to be hit and miss on whether I get wet. Hello, by the way. Welcome to another video. Um, so it's going to be hit and miss on whether I get wet today. Now, I'm headed for the woods because I did last week's video. I did a 400 mil in the woods challenge with Neil Stevens, a, a fellow YouTuber. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll pop a link up at the end and you can go and check it out if you want. And if you haven't uh, seen it and you don't want to watch it, quick brief uh, overview of it is basically Neil Stevens challenged me to a 400 mil shootout in the woods. Uh, where we're only allowed to use a focal length for 400 mil and it challenged me in a different way than i was actually expecting so i was i, I found myself wishing that i had a wide angle lens on me rather than the 400 mil so i was i was lining up compositions and thinking this would be great with a wide angle lens but actually I only had the 400 and whilst i was out i did notice that there was some really nice autumnal colors in the trees and on the ground so that's where we're headed today we're headed to the woods to get some nice autumn shots and hopefully get some nice compositions with a wider angle lens so hopefully you'll stick with me today and we'll go out and we'll get some nice autumn tree shots and uh yeah it'll be good so let's get it on that epic b-roll Hopefully this footage is going to be usable and not bouncing around all over the place. I thought it might be the easy way just to grab a few images. Starting with this one right here. So I quite like this composition with the trees. Just separated this first tree leaning out into the rest of the image. So I'm just bringing in the back of the tree. So I'm just going to bring in the back of the tree here and the front of these orange leaves. And as maybe a square crop, we'll see. Quite like the leaves on the ground, looks quite nice. Right, first image in the bag. There's a nice beautiful tree there, look. Look at that one. really have a polarizer which I've got in my bag actually I might just whip it out if I see something really worth capturing those colors at some point I'm just gonna head down here some nice orange trees down here but all the way over here all the way over across here some nice ones and I know there's a little avenue of trees just up the road a bit so we'll head up there in a second I'm actually just walking past this big one that I took a picture of and this might be quite a nice image I think you obviously could do with a little bit more light, but this is quite nice just bringing this, encapsulating that oranges and browns on the floor. As the, almost the focal point in the trees just framing it. Wow, look at that. It's a half a tree missing. 
Isn't that interesting? Oh, they've cut it all down. This would make an interesting image if the sun wasn't so bright. Again, polarizer off this ground would take the glare off that, but I don't think I don't think I can make anything interesting of this. This could make a good image. Depending on what this curve goes around, I feel a little bit of an S bend. So I'm keeping all my settings pretty much the same throughout all these images and that is 1 500th of a second shutter speed, ISO, auto and my aperture f4 and that's because the light's constantly changing in the forest, you can go in and out of dark areas so I've auto ISO on just to save me having to worry about that every time I'm just grabbing some quick snaps. If I was composing an image on a tripod I'd take the auto ISO off, put it on whatever it needed to be to uh, take that shot and freeze the motion in the leaves. Um, but as I say, I'm just grabbing quick snaps. So I'm pretty much keeping the same setting so I can just point and shoot and forget about the rest for a minute. Right, so we are just approaching some water. Well, I've been following this path for a little way now. I've just come to an interesting area here. I didn't actually know this was here. And it's quite interesting. I'll try and get a couple of images here. We've got some nice autumn colours in these trees here. So I think if I can get that side and shoot down, it would make a far more interesting, especially with this wood fence just here. That'll make a far more interesting image, I think. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and get up around the other side and see what I can get. Right. I don't know if that shows on camera over there. It's quite an interesting looking bird. Not sure what that is. Stork? I don't know. I'm not an ornithologist. Wouldn't have a clue. A lovely sunlight coming through at the moment and uh, we were promised showers it hasn't rained well it rained a little bit when I first got out of the car so we're doing well at the moment all right um, yeah I'm not sure we've got these overgrown bushes here might get in the way of the shot Let's see if I can get out any further Yeah, I think that can make quite an interesting image. So I'm going to come out wide. Not too wide. So I can go... I can go here. I think it might be a little bit too wide, so I want to come in a little bit closer. Just isolate that fence. But also include some of that water. Yeah, 
think it'll work. Okay, stick around at the end for some extra images that I haven't vlogged today, but I'm gonna leave the video here because the battery on the GoPro is almost dead and I forgot to bring them with me because I thought it was gonna absolutely hammer down uh, according to the weather forecast and we've had lovely sunshine the whole time I've been out. But I did leave the camera bag in the car because I didn't want it getting soaked and I didn't think I was really gonna need anything out of it apart from maybe a polarizer, which I haven't used. And uh, yeah, I forgot that the GoPro batteries were in the bag as well. So it's about to run out. So I'm gonna end the vlog here before I, uh, before I uh, start wittering onto myself and the battery actually ran out like 10 minutes ago. So thank you so much for watching and stick around, like I said, for the images at the end that I haven't posted already. And I will catch you on the next one. Summer is ended, the leaves are turned. Cheers.